Oluwatoin means in Yoruba, it means God is worthy to be praised. It means God is worthy to be praised. Somebody asked me, like, uh, Juneteenth just passed. And as a person who's not American, raised overseas, no one in my lineage has ever been a slave. What does that mean to me? Especially as someone who's so vocal about systemic racism that goes on in the black community because I behold myself to this community. I'm not one of you, but I definitely am one of you. To me, there is no real divide. So when I fight for you, I fight for me. When I fight for me, I fight for us. And I feel like Oluwatoin was one of those people who would fight for you even if it didn't benefit her. Could you imagine being this vocal idea, this passionate person to be loved by the masses in the open, but to have no place to go to For peace. You. Were praising. The creatures. That God. Has given us. Who was there to protect you. Why come you didn't have anybody. Why were you so vulnerable to these monsters who like who, the layers of responsibility don't fall on you you were a child you didn't know any better it's not your responsibility to know better they were posed to be systems people in position to protect you and no one was there to protect you and that bothers me that should bother everybody. Protect all black women at all cost. Because what's coming next, we're going to need all hands on deck. And we definitely don't need to lose anybody willing to put their life on the line for everybody. We don't need to lose any more people like Tony. Welcome, welcome to another episode of the Identity Booth. Um, this is obviously going to be one of those episodes that weigh on you. There's a lot of things weighing on everybody. Everyone's being pushed to their limits. Everybody's experiencing loss. We need you to endure. We need you to be strong. We need you to keep showing up. We need you to keep protesting. This is this is not a one month type thing. This feels different, so let's make sure it is different. The world's on fire. And that's okay we get stronger. Oluwatoin was murdered by this monster. And I dare I not forget this lovely lady who also was part of this murder. Black women are under attack in this country. And it's kind of strange and sick because they're attacked 
their attackers and their oppressors to some extent are black men and it kind of it blows my mind to think about that but it's true we are their oppressors at times of need want and care we do not have their backs 110 percent a black woman made me who i am today not just like by birth i'm talking about sculpted i'm talking about indoctrinated a way of life that revolves around creating life there was always a notion in my mind that women should always be treated differently and it wasn't because they were different but because they deserved better Why should women have to suffer? Why should women have to do anything that would bring them discomfort? That's what my hands were for. That's what these shoulders were built on. I learned that from my father and it's a barbaric way of thinking because women are CEOs now. But it's that archaic thinking that kept me in line of protecting every woman that I know. I, I don't know. If this is true or not, but I can I feel confident enough to say it. if you know me as a woman, you know, I have your back. I don't care how far or how long it's been since we spoke or been in contact. I don't adhere to the mindset that I need to see you in order to respect you, to reason with you, to empathize with you. We need to be allies to the black women in our lives. And I see too often black people, especially males, making a mockery of their struggle, their strife, when they're the ones that give us the breast milk straight from the duck in our times of need. On the front lines, women have shaped our culture. To the extent that men em em emulate and imitate. It's a wonderful time to be a black person in America right now. And you have to remember some of the greatest movements within our society, within our community here in America, were stopped from the inside. Black men have had their chance to take lead. Three tries. Martin, Huey, Malcolm. They all died on the inside. I think it's time to let women be in charge of some shit. And I'm not giving them permission to do this shit. I am giving up free reign. I don't know if I got the answers anymore, Sway. I just don't know. But every war that I've ever seen in the modern era has been started by a man Every unarmed shooting that I've seen, minus Amber Geiger, was done by a man. Men are inherently destructive. The touch of a woman, not even from a sexual standpoint, the touch of enlightenment from a woman goes well beyond its deserving marks. The Bible is really annoying to me because I don't recall hearing much about women. Most religious books don't talk about the powerful women in the world. The one, the person who gave birth to the most powerful man in that book doesn't get the respect she deserves in that book. And that's crazy. But this is about toying. But this is not only about toying. This is about Brianna Taylor. This is also about Sandra Bland. This is about this poor sweet child who was minding her own business and got killed by the police officer. Before I move on to some of these other stories, I want to talk about like the issue with African parents. Because toying was in a very familiar situation. There's things about our culture that vex me. How women like this is a girl toying was being sexually abused at home. And in African families, women are easily shunned for being victims. 
What do I mean? She was being sexually assaulted by a family member. She brought it up. She told people about it. And she was punished. She was exiled. She was kicked out from her own home. 19. She was a child. You at 19 didn't know what to do with yourself. If it wasn't for college, I'd still probably be on the street. What 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 did what we fail to realize when dealing with women in our society is we don't deal with them with equal equality in mind. And that causes them to lose ground in every battle. You have to have an equal and opposite partner in this fight. The best marriages, the best partnerships, the best relationships have an equal and opposite tug of war pull. You keep each other in check, in line. Tension makes the band grow stronger. So imagine this. You come to your parents who birthed you and out of shame of being known as a zealous family, you exile your own child and make her out to be the problem. Towing's parents deserve to be behind bars. They need to be arrested for neglect and abuse of a child. And African parents, hear me out. Your kids that don't talk to you anymore. Your and I notice this specifically for women. Women in African families get kicked out of the house often. You see it. And as a child it doesn't register. They do things to humiliate their daughters, posting their grades in broad daylight for everyone to see. Well, that's not a thing that is uncommon, but guess what? It's only done to the women. Forcing them into the house sooner than you force men into the house. Oh, you you don't. You're 18. You don't need to be dressing that revealing. It's. Are you looking to get raped? You must want to be raped. I didn't raise a whore. The standard, the apparent, the standard, the standard is not realistic. The behavior is unacceptable. Stop throwing our future to the wolves. Those kids, your kids don't call you. They don't check on you because they don't need you. They don't love you anymore. You weren't a parent to them when they needed you the most. And of course they were raised by the streets because that was the only person who took them in. Could you imagine how desperate you had to be as a person? How lonely, how insecure, how unsure to ask a perfect stranger for help because you had no one else that's terrifying but that's what we asking these women to do that's what we asking that is what we are we that is what we are subjecting the future to if you don't get it I'm, let me be clear. Without black women, black men are going nowhere. We are not organized. We are not self-sufficient. We do not handle grace. And we damn near can't stay alive long enough. They are being educated at a faster rate than we are. They are entrepreneurs, builders, creators of job and wealth and distribution within the black community at a 17 time at 17 times the rate. Black women are the future. They are the queens we desire. Not from a physical standpoint, you muck. Intellect. Grace. Building blocks. We're talking about the future. And we are throwing these opportunities away. I'm not going to let any motherfucker slide. 
Not on my timeline. You talk about black women in any scent that I don't that I don't like. If I don't think you would say it into a say it to a black woman's face in front of me, I don't think I'm gonna let you slide. We gotta start harping. We we gotta start finding these dogs in our group. And then somebody was like, and the question keeps being posed. It's funny how women know rapists, but men don't know rapists. You got a point there. But it also needs to be said, I don't hang around with rapists. All my dudes, I check at the door. You don't get to hang out with me if you're not sufficient. If you're not doing something with your life. My circle is tight. But we need to start finding. Bring them to the light so we can burn them at the stake. And hear me out. I get the whole notion. But hero, we don't. Guilty, innocent to prove it. Yeah, the me too. I hear you. But I definitely see a lot more women fighting for their right to be safe than a men fighting for their safety. So I have to side with the victims here. Yeah, show me your evidence. Show me your show me your evidence. You deserve your day in court. But I got my fucking eye on you. And this is coming from someone who was accused of sexual assault. I know what it's like. For you to be told that a baby belongs to you and you know that this person ain't never been in your bed. I know what that's like. I still don't resent that child. Baby Jaden still gets happy birthday texts and calls from me. Ten years. Don't be a sucker to your vengeance. Some girl did you wrong. You're an idiot. You pose to be a man, right? Stand up. Strong. Not dependent on anybody's way of life. You don't lean on women. But you caught yourself slipping. And because you didn't know how to lead. Now you both. Just in it. And that's crazy to me. Men wanting to lead. We've had our shot. And we're not good at it. We not only need to find a way of affirming them from a love and nourishment standpoint. We need to find a way of protecting them. You love a woman in your life. Take her down. First date. Hey, girl, I want I think I got something with you. She's she's everything you want. Educated. Natural hair. Full figure. A beautiful woman. In mind. And spirit. She calls somebody God. And you be damned if she can't cook. All these things are great. What are you doing for her? Of meaning. Protecting her? You protect your women? You're not there when she's walking from her car at 8 p.m. after leaving the gym. You're not there checking her corners before she walks into her apartment. By herself after being gone for 12 hours. You're not there when the emergencies happen and she needs your help. What are you doing? Want to prove you love a woman? Black woman? You want to protect the shield that has been protecting you your whole entire life? Go get her, go go out there and get her into a self-defense class. Go out there and get her to the gun range. Teach her how to use that compact 22. Glock 41. Oh, wait, no. Glock, yeah. 40. 9 millimeter. Go out there and 10 millimeter. Get out, get, out, get out there on the range. Test their accuracy and precision. Check on them. Call them. Let them know. That is not just you flirting. That you need to know. You are loved and protected. In me. That if you aren't a black man. Who a woman can openly come to. No matter you all situation. You're not an ally. 
You need to be able to cover all fi facets of their livelihood. That's what we're here to do. And it's because our roles have been mixed up that our roles haven't been fulfilled. I'm a doer. I'm a shaker. I'm a head buster. You call me when you want shit done. I'm not there for the party. I'm not there for your social events. Call me when you need some shit done. Call me when you have a plan. I'll get it done. I'm a doer. And that's what men need to be for women. Doers. It upsets me that I look back on some of my content and don't really have content for the black women. Yeah, I mention them. Yeah, I bring them up. But I just haven't really covered their stories. And Brianna Taylor, Tatiana, these were all cases that happened during my hiatus or when I wasn't active. But isn't that worthy of me coming back? You see, you got to be able to check yourself first. And yeah, I'm kind of upset with my inability to be there when they need me the most. I'm putting this video out probably a week, two weeks after she's passed. They've caught her murderer. He's confessed. We all need to do better. Let's talk about Brianna Taylor. For all you guys that don't know, Brianna Taylor is a lovely woman in the, who was an EMS getting her degree. I think she wanted to go to nursing school. She was somebody who was going to save people. And she got murdered by people who were supposed to protect and serve. The irony of that situation. They could have looked her name up in the database one good time and said she's an EMS. Let's bring her in. She's one of us. But no. They, they don't they don't believe they're not there to protect and serve the war on drugs has killed more people than saved has ruined more lives we still believe that drugs are something we should pursue what is the problem with drugs is it because i don't have a you know a pharmacy degree i have never seen the dea or fbi kick down a pharmaceutical company's door uh when all these oxycodone oxycodone and uh oxycon painkiller drugs were out on the street killing white people i ain't seen nobody's doors getting kicked down nobody getting no knock warrants it's strange how we constantly perpetuate this idea that the war on drugs needs to be solved police need to be defunded and dissolved Fuck you. Brianna Taylor was at home in her bed with her boyfriend sleeping. And 12 hours prior to that, a warrant that's still missing, that is actively the argument, a warrant that is actively missing, a notification from the postmaster within the district that was not signed by this postmaster, and the investigation internally on what the package was was resolved to be a non-factor but these officers just needed to get something done i'm going to pull up the rape kits that have not been completed in this city that she died in that's something you guys could have been doing but no you guys had to go no knock warrant in plain clothes no body camera this was a, an execution this was a lynching a government sanctioned lynching. And it would have been two people if it wasn't for Brianna Taylor's boyfriend having a gun. And they had the balls to arrest this man for shooting an officer in the leg. Bitch, you guys broke into his house and killed his girlfriend. Over drugs? I was going to say something bad. I'm going to say it. He, they're lucky they didn't catch a bullet to the head. 
I wish his I wish his actor accuracy was a little bit better. Get to the range. They do an investigation. Three months, no answers, no no responses to the outcry. The family is left with no idea what happened. There's no body camera. There's this word versus a dead woman's word and a and a person who's locked up in jail. Three months investigation, four page write up on what happened. Victim details, injuries, it's left blank. Brianna Taylor was shot eight times. The balls of these people, they, they are laughing at us and it's infuriating because I know they think it's a fucking game. They, you, they know, just stay low. Don't say nothing. Our Tatiana shooters didn't get into trouble in Fort Worth. This is their plan. Target the most powerful point in their group and the rest will fall. As you see, black men, we don't quite understand it yet, but, but our oppressors do because those people look around the Atlanta police chief. She's firing folks. Get fucked. These women are these women are just powerful within our circle. They're powerful in the oppressor circle. Stacey Abrams. They're powerful in their own circles. And we need them to thrive. We need them to survive. They finally fired one of the officers that leaves him open for arrest. But my whole point is arrest them all. You don't want to find a judge to do it. Get a jury of 12. Let's see what happens. There needs to be justice for an And if the world, the city continues to burn until those officers are arrested, I'm okay with it. Fuck Target. Let it burn. I don't care. 2020 is over with in my eyes. I'm it's a mulligan. I'm just going to start 2021 as a 31 year old again. Until she finds justice, I will not stop mentioning her name. Every chance we get we need to hold these monsters accountable and say her name movement really started back with sandra bland and i covered her story her crime disrespecting an officer what she didn't know is you're not supposed to just talk to these officers. Fuck them. If cooler heads had prevailed, she'd still be alive. How desperate, how alone she must felt in that cell. They say she took her life. They also said the six black people in the last two weeks took their lives by hanging themselves on trees. They're laughing at us. Because they think they have the upper hands. They don't. And if you're a black man and you want to prove that. Stand in front of these women. Protect them. Say their names. Make sure you understand that they are the only way that me and you are going to make it. Is we We tried. We tried. Let's. Let the people who have stood the test of time and been brutalized, ignored, forgotten, and traumatized by us off the rat race for once. Let's put them on their pedestal. Let's give them every opportunity we can to thrive. And I'm not here to hear none of that bullshit about, man, I don't know, bro. This, no, fuck you. What do you know? Huh? You're watching this. 
What have you done? Nothing. And that's me being facetious. I'm pretty sure you've done something. And I don't really have a way of like ending the show. So I'll just, you know, let Tony. Nah, can't nobody silence me. I just want, it's not that all lives don't matter, but right now, our lives matter. Black, Black lives, matter. lives matter. Yes. Black trans lives matter. Yes. Trans lives matter. Yes. Because guess what? We all minorities, but right now, like, let's focus on the person who got killed. Tony McDay was a black trans man. Okay? Amen. We're not doing this. We doing this for him. We doing this for our brothers and our sisters who got shot, but we doing this for every black person. Because at the end of the day, I cannot take my fucking skin color off. Mm -mm. I cannot mask this shit, okay? Everywhere I fucking go, I'm profiled whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Like, I'm looked at whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Being skin, bruh. We love it. This shit, I can't take this shit off. So guess what? I'm gonna die about it. Yeah. I'm gonna die about my fucking skin. You cannot take my fucking blackness away from me. My blackness is not for your fucking consumption, nigga. It's not. It's not. Okay? It's not. And y'all need to listen. It's Like I said, it's okay to be angry. Use wisdom. Don't move stupidly and get yourself hurt. Y'all already seen, we all in this together. I, I didn't mean to like divide anybody. We all in this together. My brother who got, um, he got ran over. Y'all need to know who the fucking enemy is. I, I, sometimes I get mad, but I'm not trying to divide nobody. Y'all need to remember who the fucking enemy is. It's right. racist Tallahassee. White racist Tallahassee. Say it again. People see me and think I'm weak. They want to take care of me. But I can take care of myself by myself. You sound like my nephew, always thinking you need to do things on your own without anyone's support. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Not that I love you, but I just met you.